In all seriousness, I have no idea why I did that. But anyway... Let me get this thing off the screen. And see if I can... If I have the capacity to play the thing, I hope I can. First, well, this music has lost its appropriateness. Let me switch to something else. That's a bit better. And by the way, I would like to warn the chat that uh, I have played the first Zero Escape game, 999, but I have not played the second, so I would uh, appreciate it if nothing too severe was revealed. With that having been said, let me see if I can get this running first. This should be it. Lag like something bad, like some of the games I tried last night, because I am, um, I believe I have at least a decent resolution. So let me see how running this works. going to play an adventure game. Uh oh, I see those dropped frames, I see them. What is going on? This is not normal. Is it because of this? It shouldn't be. Uh oh. I doubt if anyone can hear me now, but we seem to be having a bit of a hiccup. We do seem to be having a bit of a hiccup. with the internet situation. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Is it back? It looks like it might be back. Yeah, that looks better. So I don't know what that was about, but anyway, maybe we can get back to this thing now, because my internet seems to have suddenly unbroken itself. So back to this. 
or we would be if it would respond. I think I broke it. Just a second. My net is freaking out a little bit, or at least it was for a second there, but it seems to be better now. That's kind of weird because it didn't freak out at all last night. So I guess it's back to waiting for this thing to respond. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. So I think we might have we might have gotten disconnected for a little bit, but I'm not sure. But I am currently waiting for the task manager to appear so we can close this in the proper way. There it is. I'm also gonna pop a holes lozenge just to see preventive measure. There we go. Let's see if this works now. It looks like it's working. Yep. We have this. Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator. What's this about? We can find out by watching the intro. So this is Ben Jordan, our protagonist. He's recently graduated from college with an international relations degree. But he doesn't have that much luck finding work. But that's not what he wants to do anyway. He wants to become a freelance paranormal investigator, which his family is very receptive to. And it starts with a phone call, in which he tells his parents that it's crazy, but yes, he wants to be a spook hunter, for lack of a better word. He's seen enough episodes of the X-Files to know that there's something out there. But they don't really like the idea, shockingly. Uh oh we're getting a, another net freak out, I think. That's bad timing. I saw those... I saw that file transference rate drop to zero. So I guess... Oh, never mind, we seem to be back. Okay, that was weird, but... If I'm still online, which I should be, hopefully... Uh, what has transpired here was that... Uh, Ben, the masterfully drawn paranormal investigator, just got called to Florida to investigate the skunk ape by the stranger, or not, by one of the rangers, but this is the guy that greets us. But the ranger who called us here is dead. He was found mutilated in the woods, which is the third time this week that has happened. So they think it is the work of this skunk ape. So we better start investigating, because we need to find out what's going on. So because this is made in AGS, an old uh, but still pretty powerful game adventure game engine, we can look at things, we can try to touch things, including this guy, but it's not really polite to go around prodding old men. And we can check our inventory. We have a rifle, which emptied our savings account, but somehow we knew we would need it. And we have a notepad. And of course we can talk to people. Oh, getting another freak out it looks like. That's... why is that happening? Uh oh, doesn't seem to be fixing itself quite as well. I'm kind of waiting to see if that... Uh oh. One second. Yes, caution save sounds about right. 
just a sec. Does that help? Apparently not. Something's going on and my net is freaking out again, it looks like. It's definitely in the red. And... Hello. And it looks like... Oh, never mind. It's coming back up, it looks like. Yeah. It's back up. I don't know why that keeps happening. Well, back to this thing, if we can get it running. So I guess we have determined that it's not this thing that keeps it from, uh, that's causing that lag. Even though it does have some lag of its own. <laughs> so let's keep talking to this guy. What about the skunk ape? Well, it's a bit of a broad subject. What is a skunk ape? Similar to a Yeti or a Sasquatch, but it has a horrible smell. That's a pretty horrible smell. Well, at least that makes it easier to track down. It's also huge and dangerous. So what's going on with these murders? Five bodies. The limbs are broken, the head is crushed, and the liver is torn out and eaten. This is indeed a game, but don't worry, this doesn't end with this game, not by a long shot. So has anyone seen this concave? Nope, the only ones who have are dead. No survivors or anything. So how do you know it even exists? Giant footprints, hair samples and the stench. That's a valid point, how do you know it's not a fake, even though? Well, even if that's the case, someone's been killing these people. So. That's all we can learn about the skunk ape for now, so what about the park? Try to keep it nice. But there's a bit of a green message actually, I forgot about that. But the park itself isn't that big, it's only a couple screens actually. What about you? Ernie, the park ranger. Didn't he used to make cookies? If that's a reference to something, I don't know what it is. Uh oh. Another slight freakout going on there. Hopefully it doesn't affect the audio, but I don't know. So what should we do about this? About this? Take an airboat out to the site and camp for a while. And get a ranger to help us. Ranger Rick might help us if we can convince him to come. He's extremely superstitious though. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. So we can look at the stuff in the office, the window, the desk, the radio and this little fridge. We can't rummage through the desk though or take either of the posters. The window doesn't open, and we don't have any use for the radio, but we will rummage through this desk. Wherein we find a brochure for the park. Including a photo of a receptionist cutting some food with a knife. We'll have to use that in a little bit. And we can take a sandwich. A liverwurst sandwich. From the little fridge. Yeah, apparently the frame rate isn't improving. I don't know what's up with that. You know what? Give me one second. 